At ASCO 2022, ANZ Up Cancer Trials Group was privileged to be invited to give two oral presentations, one being the 470 event updates of Enzymet and the other being the updated results for the therapy clinical trial of Lutetia and PSMA. It was a pleasure to present the updated results of the Enzymet clinical trial at ASCO 2022. Enzymet was an international randomised investigator initiated clinical trial, open label study against an active control involving 1,125 men at 83 centres around the world. We were looking at men with metastatic hormone sensitive prostate cancer to determine whether addition of enzalutamide to testosterone suppression at the beginning of treatment improves survival. At ASCO 2019, at the plenary session, we presented the results of the interim analysis showing a hazard ratio of 0.67. And at ASCO 22, now with the planned 470 event analysis, we've shown that that benefit is sustained with a hazard ratio of 0.70. The five year landmark survival was 57% for the active control group and 67% for enzalutamide. Median survival estimated 73 months for the active control and not reached for enzalutamide. So, We've also taken the opportunity to look at some exploratory analyses, which were not, uh, the study was not powered to, to do, so we're being very careful not to overinterpret that. And the results of that are that we've shown that enzalutamide uh, uh, is uh, active, particularly in low volume disease, that testosterone suppression by itself is not enough, we should be looking at adding in extra treatments, uh, that the benefits of enzalutamide are seen across the board for all the uh, prognostic groupings, and that there was no clear benefit by using triplet therapy with docetaxel and enzalutamide and testosterone suppression, with the possible exception of the patients at highest risk, high volume synchronous metastatic disease. But other than that, enzalutamide is active across the board. The take home messages from this are that enzalutamide should be considered for any man who's suitable for enzalutamide, uh, no matter what the prognostic group of, of the patient, and that people need not necessarily feel obliged to offer triplet therapy. Therapy. It seems that the outcomes are comparable with enzalutamide or docetaxel alone compared to enzalutamide plus docetaxel. At ASCO 2022, uh, Professor Michael Hoffman presented the updated results of the therapy clinical trial. This was a study uh, for which we published the results in Lancet last year, looking at lutetium PSMA 617 compared to cabazitaxel in men with metastatic castrate resistant prostate cancer who had previously had docetaxel, and over 90% of them had also had abiraterone or enzalutamide. Uh, in the initial analysis, we showed that the study met its primary endpoint uh, with superior PSA 50% uh, response rate compared to cabazitaxel and was also better tolerated. The results presented at ASCO 22 were looking at longer term follow up and, in particular, looking at overall survival. This analysis has shown that there does not appear to be any difference in overall survival between the two arms. And there are several possible reasons for this. Firstly, many of the patients on the cabazitaxel arm received lutetium PSMA subsequently and so would have received the benefit of that uh, also. In addition, 14 patients on the cabazitaxel arm withdrew from the study before they received any treatment and received lutetium PSMA but were analysed as cabazitaxel. So the messages we take out of this is lutetium PSMA is certainly active, it's better tolerated than cabazitaxel, uh, uh, there's no detriment in terms of overall survival, we have not been able to show an improvement in overall survival, but lutetium PSMA is certainly taking its place as a reasonable alternative for men with advanced metastatic castrate resistant prostate cancer.